His name is Coach Milton, and he was he's literally why I'm the player I am today. It was just amazing having someone who I really trusted and who was actually able to teach me the, the game of basketball. Uh, I started playing basketball when I was nine years old. You no, know, I was at a cheerleading competition, so I used to be a cheerleader and I did gymnastics as well. A coach, someone saw her doing cheerleading and said, no, you're too tall, you should be playing basketball. So she was about nine. Now I consider him like a part of my family. I consider him like another dad, um, just because I've known him since I was nine and, you know, working with him almost every single day. We've had good days and we've had bad days. You know, as a coach, sometimes they can get on your nerves. But, you know, through all the adversity and all the challenges, like he's always been there for me. And like I said, I really don't think I would be the person I am today without him, so. When I was in college, I tore my ACL. Um, and that was really hard for me. I was going to be a senior that year um, and had a lot of roles and responsibilities on the team. So it was definitely difficult to have to sit out and just watch my teammates from the bench. But I think it definitely taught me a lot. My coach helped a lot. She really didn't let me drift into the sidelines. She made sure that I was still present and still was a leader off the court with my voice. Um, so she made sure I was really involved, always talking, always cheering. Um, and I think I was able to see and learn basketball from a different perspective that year, for sure. Well, I played in three countries so far in my basketball career. I played in Slovakia, Germany, and now two years in France. She was in Slovakia. Um, that was her first outing. She didn't quite like it. It was her first time actually traveling. It was a smaller town. As a rookie, it was definitely my first season was difficult just because it was my first time away from home. It was also my first time living in a completely different, you know, environment where I didn't know the language. So just adapting to the new culture and the new food, the new people. She doesn't like small towns, like small villages. She likes cities, you know, so there's a balance between basketball and her social life. It's very difficult to manage living so far away from my family and friends. You know, I don't think I'll ever get over missing birthdays or um, weddings or like life milestones that happen in the States while I'm playing overseas. But I do, you know, talk to everyone every single day and they do try and visit me as much as possible. We talk a lot before her games, after her games, you know, we talk. I call her video calls almost every day. We talk. My best memory in basketball is the most recent one where we won AfroBasket for the Nigerian national team. It was in Kigali and I just think it was kind of a once in a lifetime experience that I got to do with people I consider my sisters. So I think that was definitely one of my favorite moments. It's crazy because you know, you're it's a lot on the line and you're not only representing yourself, but you're representing like an uh, entire nation amazing and surreal to just be able to accomplish something like that and not only make yourself proud but make everyone around you proud like your family friends and the whole country of Nigeria. So I chose Toulouse um, just because well obviously my agent she's really familiar with the club she told me a lot of amazing things about it I really liked hearing how Xavier is so friendly um, family oriented and I was really looking for a club that kind of fits that. I love people, I love the supporters, so to find a club that also has people who are just in, as invested into the club um, was something that's really important for me. And then most importantly, uh, I want to win. So before coming here, I didn't know anyone personally, but I did play against a lot of the girls. Uh, I played against Amadine, Binta, and Ewell um, all last season, so uh, it was really interesting knowing the players and uh, how we like played against them, and um, just now, you know, going from rivals to teammates. I thought that was really interesting. I think I'm actually very close with the girls this season. Uh, in particular, I would say me and Dean get along really well. Amadine is a great player and person. 
Um, on the court, she's really enthusiastic. She brings energy, hype, um, and she's also an amazing shooter. It's so much fun playing with her. And then off the court, she's just as amazing. She's super sweet, she's caring, she's helpful. Amadine has been a great uh, person for me this season, and I'm really glad that we were able to meet, especially since we were rivals last year. So it's so ironic how it kind of came full circle. I watch all her games. Every Saturday, I get my tea, and I sit down and I look for the game. Nicole, I'm very proud of you. I love you. You've accomplished so much um, at such a young age. You've always been a leader. Good luck with your career, and I wish you the best, and I love you so much. We have a really good squad this year. We have a lot of potential to go up. That's our goal. That's definitely our mission for this year. So that's definitely why I came.